Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I am here at the Edigen Supercharger, which is the largest in Belgium with 18 stalls. And I have a confession to make, right? Just as uh, many of you guys, I could not really believe uh, the uh, 2500 kilowatt hour DC charging limit on uh, my car before it is uh, nerfed. But um, yeah, that was the data that I was given at the time. So I did some further digging and it turns out that the 2500 number is not correct. Sorry. But Tesla is unwilling to share the exact number. So what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm meeting up in a few minutes with uh, one of my followers who has the Scan My Tesla app and dongle. And we're going to look into my car and see how many uh, kilowatt hours of DC charging I have. And I'm going to look into my previous videos to see when I started losing the supercharging speed. And we're going to try to interpolate the uh, numbers and see what is the most likely number uh, that the cap is going to be on. It's not going to be exact science, the number is not going to be exactly correct, but it is going to be a better guesstimate than the actual 2500 kilowatts. So uh, yeah, waiting for the guy to arrive and then we need to uh, disassemble a few things on the car to get to the right ODB port uh, underneath the dash and uh, hopefully we can get some good numbers from the app. Right, so let me show you how to get to that uh, specific port that we need. So you need to be underneath here, the little cabinet. You can loosen that up by just pressing down. You have to press really hard and not be scared to do that. And you can pull it out. So it's just attached with these two. On older cars, apparently there are two more uh, of these clips. So you have to pull a lot harder to get them. So let me put that out of the way. And then underneath we have a bunch of cables. So we have two cables here. The one we need is that blue one. And uh, to connect the uh, Bluetooth dongle here, so that's the Bluetooth part uh, on the OBD cable. And there's an adapter cable for that with two connections. So the large connection is for the pre facelift uh, Model S and Model X. And this one is for the facelift ones, uh, which is my car. It doesn't work on the Model 3 because you need another connection for that. So we need to attach this one. Let me see where it goes. There you go. It clicks and then you get some power here. And now we can check the app and uh, read the data from the car. So I took some screenshots from the app because otherwise if I would have to film uh, the cell phone that would have given a lot of reflections. So this way it's more clear for you guys as well. Um, I analyzed the data. I'm not going to look at everything here because there's a lot of data, a lot of data that I don't understand yet. But we're going to focus on the charging at the moment. Now let's have a look. So on the screenshot you see a couple of numbers uh, here. Uh, first of all you have the DC charge total which is 17,121 kilowatt hours. And the AC charge total which in my case is lower which is correct because as Tesla told me about 62% is going to be my uh, charging uh, or my DC charging. Now if we calculate that uh, and we add those things up we come to 27,183 kilowatt hours of charging in total. If we divide the uh, DC charge total by that number then we end up indeed with a 63% DC charging so that number that Tesla gave me is in fact correct so no problem there so far now what is, what is also interesting is that below that number you also find the region total of 4815 kilowatt hours now it doesn't mean that much when you uh, say it in kilowatt hours but I've calculated it over my average consumption of 220 watt hours per kilometer and that means that I have driven 21,886 kilometers pure on region which is awesome that's about one-fifth of my driving that has been done on region so that's that's cool to know now 
if we go back to the actual problem, so Tesla um, came back to me and said, okay, your card is limited, and the limit is actually a fixed kilowatt hour limit on DC charging. So that uh, has been confirmed to me. Tesla is not willing to tell me what the exact number is. So let's try to interpolate what the number could be. So my charging starts at 17,121. That's up until now. I've started to see the problem somewhere in August. So looking back at one of my videos that I made near the end of August, that means if I extrapolate a little bit, that I have driven about 13,000 kilometers since then. If we take that 13,000 kilometers, we multiply it by my average consumption of 2,000, uh, sorry, 220 watt hours per kilometer. That uh, makes 2,860 kilowatt hours that I've consumed up until now. Yeah. If we uh, use that 63% uh, on average for DC charging, that would mean that I would be charging or I would have charged 1802 kilowatt hours purely on DC charging. Now, because of uh, testing, because of that road trip and um, yeah, because I've been testing the charge limit on different superchargers in different areas, I've been supercharging a bit more than that 63% in the past couple of months. Um, that means that for me, logically, um, the limit would be around 15,000 kilowatt hours. So that's yeah, a difference of 2,121 kilowatt hours, about 300 kilowatt hours more than what the 63% number gives me. Um, more or less, it's not exact science and it's a, it's a guesstimate from my side, but it's a nice round number and it seems like a logical barrier to, that I would implement myself uh, to have a nice round number for that. Now, what does that mean in terms of your uh, driving habits? That means that on my consumption, my average consumption of 220 kilowatt hours, sorry, 220 watt hours per kilometer, that means that I have driven 68,182 kilometers on DC charging before the charge limit actually kicks in. And then again, let me remind you, in my case specifically, right, I'm not talking about 75 or the 85, but in my case specifically, I've been limited by about 10%. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't know what is going to happen when the newer cars that can charge to 150 and 200 kilowatts uh, in the future, if they are going to limit it by 10% as well, or if they are going to be limited all the way down to 100 kilowatts uh, like I am right now. Um, so that is something, there's no car that I know yet that has reached that limit. So we'll have to wait and see if that limit is still there for the newer cars. Maybe that limit is because of uh, new cooling uh, systems or whatever. That limit has been raised to a certain number. I don't know. Um, that's the big question mark right now. But I'm talking about my car specifically at the moment. And from the data that I'm getting here, my best guess, my best educated guess, is that the limit is actually not at 2,500 kilowatt hours, as I reported in the previous one. Um, but it's actually at 15,000 kilowatt hours or as I said before in my case 68,000 kilometers of driving on DC. So yeah that's uh, a lot better in terms of uh, the numbers because uh, 2,500 kilowatt hours that's basically one big road trip and, uh, and you're done already. So I found it peculiar that the number was so low I started digging Luckily, I found a guy that helped me out. Um, so, Luis, thanks for that again. And, um, yeah, this app now gives me some more data that, I, that Tesla is unable or unwilling to give for some reason. And we can actually make a best guess at that number. There you have it. Uh, again, the warning, if you supercharge too much, you will get limited. 
uh, as it states in the manual as well they don't state by how much so this can vary maybe from car to car I don't know uh, but on my car it's only like 10% and this should be a final limit and it should not um, go down any further than this so that is also something that has been confirmed to me uh, by my source at Tesla um, so yeah uh, all in all it's not that bad but at least I got an explanation now at least we get a more decent number where the limit starts so I hope this helps you I hope this reassures you and again as usual if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe using that button down there and uh, make sure you don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye